Humans have always been fascinated with aliens. Might it be that they think they bring us fortune and great knowledge that might better our life? Or that they might come to kill us all or, worst case scenario, use us as a food source? But what if that is all so far from the truth you don't even know where to begin? And aliens are already here but their plans are completely different. One of these ideas, the movie Alienoid, is playing out. If you want to hear more about that, then join me for this short review video. Okay, this was a wild one and there was so much going on, I don't even try to put it all into one synopsis, so I just boil it down to the gist. An alien race able to time travel has found Earth and uses it as a prison for their outlaws. And what they do is this, they just imprison their criminals in human bodies, where they can still think and feel, but have basically no control over the bodies, at least not directly. Sometimes however, the humans are feeling that there is something inside them that gives them some extra abilities that makes them either extremely skilled fighters or even give them the illusion of doing magic. Most of these prisoners are scattered throughout history because as I mentioned, these aliens can time travel. But the main timelines where this movie takes place are the following three. First off, 1380 AD as well as 2012 AD and also today, 2022. Because in the here and now is where our time travelers are located at the moment. And 1380 is the time where the prisoners are stored away that are important for the plotline. The 10 years in our past is just needed for a little bit of exposition work to explain something that impacts the today. But I see I already run unnecessarily long, so let's just bring it down to one sentence. Those prisoners from 1380 try to break out of their bodies, get to the present and help other fellow criminals to take over as many humans in the here and now as possible. Which of course our timekeepers are trying to prevent. This really is the most minimal explanation and summary I can give you. Because again, there is so much going on. This movie is 142 minutes long. It is fast, it is colorful. It has a million ideas at once and throws them all at you at the same time. It's fun, it's weird, it's stupid, it's all of the above. And due to this fact, the movie gets away with a lot of open questions and plot devices where you think, okay, is that clever? Is that stupid? Is that a plot hole or not? Because at the end of the day, it is all about the journey here and not about the logic. Because the logic is pretty much dictated to you by the two time travelers laying out the rules for us. For instance, even the ethical implications that they are touching on a little bit here and there and that even the timekeepers discuss between them are really pretty much secondary. You also don't really learn if everyone from this alien race is some kind of a cyborg because one of the timekeepers is a robot and basically just a flying lunchbox, while the other one has a human form but also seems to be a cyborg or an android or something along those lines. However, they can shapeshift and then they look like humans, which is also something that you have just to accept and there is no really plausible explanation for any of it as this is a sci-fi that doesn't care about that stuff anyway. In the past timeline you have a lot of martial arts going on and a lot of sword fighting, while in the world of today you have a lot of shootouts and other action. So you will not get bored and there will be a lot of stuff that you can dig your teeth in, again as long as you don't ask about logic and stuff like that. But if you have so much going on then some small letdowns are not even that important for the general picture. With that being said, Let's get into the rating, but before we do so, let me ask you to like and share this video if you enjoyed it so far. And if you are not a subscriber yet, then maybe consider to change that. By also hitting the notification bell, you will get a heads up for most of my new videos. Now for the rating. Okay, you have heard that there is a lot of stuff going on, but of course I cannot just score that movie quite high because there is a lot of stuff going on and because we for that reason can ignore some of its flaws there still needs to be everything considered to go into the final score. In any case, throwing it all at us at once makes the movie at least manage it to jump over the average score hurdle. So it is higher than 5 for sure. 
It is definitely entertaining, so a 6 is also valid. It could reach as high as a 7, but because there is very much room for improvement, higher than that is not an option. And therefore I'm doing the cheap cop out and jump right in the middle between 6 and 7 and go with 6.5 out of 10 points. And let me say it like this, if the movie would have also eliminated those moments where you say, okay, uh, I think they were just cutting away from that that quickly and throw something else at me just to make me not think about how stupid that was, then the movie could have been even better. But also one of the main detractors why I did not score it higher is the fact that after 142 minutes, when the movie was finally over, it was over right in the middle of a fight. I found myself reminded a little bit of the original Lord of the Rings from the 80s, where the animated movie was just stopping in the middle of an action sequence. And here it then just says, end of part 1, part 2 coming 2023 which would have been okay if we would have known that from the get-go. But it wasn't mentioned in the festival's catalog, it wasn't mentioned as far as I can see in any of the movie's promotional material. So to just tell you at the end of a movie that this is not the end but just half of it is a little bit audacious. And with that being said, I'm astounded myself that I have not scored it lower just due to that fact. But maybe it was part of the original marketing campaign back in South Korea and was just not printed on the posters we have seen. But at the end of the day, I don't know and I cannot really blame the movie for something I'm not sure about. What about you? Would you have been pissed off by that and would have scored the movie lower? Or would that have been a nice surprise for you, especially if you liked the movie, to say, okay, I'm getting more of that? Or would you be disappointed because you want to get more of that but you just don't want to wait a year for it? Whatever it is, let me know in the comments. So much for now, see you next time and thanks for watching.